Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of the Ocarina of Time. And welcome to the Fire Temple, which has immediately has fire keys in it that are trying to destroy me. So let's take them out. Although they will respawn. Take that. And let's go the only way we can go. Through this left door. And look, it's Darunia. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you. But now is not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try and seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoners' cells are in the opposite direction, I'm counting on you, Link. And he's gone. Into the boss door. But anyway, let's look around here, since that's the only thing we can do at the moment. And over here we have... a Goron who's shaking inside of this cage. Please don't eat me! If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomachache! You'll be sorry! Okay, well, let's hit the switch. And let him out. Talk to him. Are you re releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the cha into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. And there he goes. Well, anyway, here's a treasure just for us, so let's open that up and get a small key. So there we go. Now I also want to check the other side of the room because it actually has some very helpful stuff to us. That I want to point out, so. You can stand on this lava in here, which is interesting. You will take damage over time though. So you need to be careful about that. Now, let's hook shot across to this thing here, since we can do that. And up here are some pots, which I believe two out of four of these pots have fairies in them. So if you need a fairy, this is a good place to get it, especially if you reload the room, because you can get more. So, but anyway, I think I'm good for now. now let's head in the opposite direction. There's also, if I go down here, another door that we can't do anything in. Because we go in here, and we can see the boss key chest, and a Goron, but we can't actually open it. Please don't eat me, if you- okay. You'll be sorry. Okay. Well, we can't go that way, so we're gonna have to go a different way. We have to save all the Gorons. So let's go through this door over here that's locked. No oh, fire keys. Now, another locked door in front of us. But this is a big room, so we can actually go around here. Stay on the lava and all that. Take a bit of damage. That's not a lot of damage to take. There's also some fire bubbles, though, that we need to avoid if we can. Some of time lock. What's over this way, though? Another Goron to save. Let's do that. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Thanks for the tip. Also thanks for the treasure chest. So each Goron has a treasure chest and each one has a hint for us. Now a small key. Okay. 
Let's see what else we can do in this room before we move on. Since we're probably gonna need several keys before we go any further. Keys- getting keys is the most important thing to do in the Adult Link dungeons. Get as many as you can and then move on. Just don't- don't forget them. They're very important. You don't want to have to backtrack too much. But anyway, moving that block of time allows us to go up into this door up here. Which has some floor tiles that come to life and try to attack us. But if we hold our shield up, they can't damage us, so... Just need to block everything in the universe. Literally all of these faces are coming out of the ground right now. There's also... Another enemy at the end of this room that we haven't seen before. But this thing is annoying. This is a like like, an enemy that eats shields and, c and certain clothes. Beat it quickly to get your gear back. So, if we get too close to it when it does that attack, it will take us, absorb us in, and steal our Hylian shield or our Goron tunic. It can't steal the regular green tunic. So, that's a good thing. But if we kill it quick enough after it takes whatever it's stolen, we'll get it back. But if it takes two items, then you can only get one of them back, which is unfortunate. Anyway, you can grab that by backflip or using the hookshot and get another gold sculptor token. Okay, also some of these platforms out here move in different ways depending on how you stand on them. Like this one that sinks into the lava. Some of them will also move. And this one over here is an interesting one. Because if we stand on top of it, it actually goes up over to this ledge over here that we can get some extra refills on. If we cut the pots correctly. It's a little bit difficult to cut the pots as the Dalt Link since they're shorter than him. And we're taller now, so. But anyway. Let's head over in this direction. This platform's just moving on its own. But on the opposite side of the room, there is a wall. And if we use what the Goron said about the walls and the Goron special crop, if we hit this wall, it makes a high-pitched sound, whereas if we hit a normal wall, it sounds a lot deeper. Which means that there's a secret behind the wall, so let's blow it up. Just like that. It's fairly obvious, but it's good to do, just to show how you're supposed to solve it. Anyway, I like how there are these switches just to open these doors that I just don't have any problems getting to. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Grand Special Crop to do it, do the job. But like, using the switches just to open the door, it's it's a simple activation that you can do. That you don't- it doesn't need to be there, but it adds so much to the design of the world. This game was really ahead of its time by a billion years, basically. <laughs> I love this game so much. But anyway, now that we have two keys, let's head on over through this door now. There we go. Now, let's go down here. There's a gigant gigantic geyser in the middle of the room. Just so much fire coming out of it. Uh, but we can climb up this giant cage thing around everywhere. Which is good for us. Ah, camera. Although there are a couple of keys up here that I'd much rather avoid making them move and just take them out while they're staying still. Uh, but if I can jump down here carefully, there's this block here that we can push on top of the geyser thing. On top of the flame. So let's do this very slowly. And let's also drop on top of the block. From up here. I don't think you can grab the side of it to get up, so you do have to drop down. But there we go, it takes us all the way up here, and allows us to go through this locked door. 
So we needed both keys from... We needed both keys from back there. Another Goron that we can't save at the moment. Also have a new enemy. Torch Slug. When the fire on its back is extinguished, it will run away. Destroy it before it re relights. Fairly simple. And it gives us magic every time we kill them, I'm pretty sure. Most, mostly every time. Every time? Every time. There we go. Now, I just want to jump across this. And this is the switch that the Goron mentioned you can cut with your sword to activate. And that gets rid of the fire up there. But, on that, based on that ticking sound, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So we actually need to get up to that fire before it reignites after hitting the switch. So, let's move this block into position down here. Just like that. And now, we can go up here. Like that. And now, what I want to do is actually drop a bomb off the edge there. The Goron special crop, as the Goron mentioned, will also activate the switch. Which allows us to get up here with no worries at all. You can also possibly throw the bomb from the second step, if you are good enough. Now... Am I wrong about this, or can I? Hang on. I feel like I can... do this if I can get the right... camera angle. Hang on, let me go through the door again. Because the camera automatically goes above you whenever you go into that room. But if I go back in here again, and don't move... Just pull out my... hook shot? No. I think I'm wrong about that, but I think I know why I'm thinking about that. Oh, move. Just move. Okay. Need to dodge all the boulders in this maze. And check out all the rooms that we can. Let's release the score on. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Let me tell you a secret as a reward for releasing me. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? I kind of knew that, but I don't remember ever being on fire. Not, not in a way that I'd need to put myself out, at least. But anyway, get a small key. Very nice. Now let's head out again and back into the maze. And find out where the Sculptor is because I can hear it. And I need to find it. I think underneath this little bit here, if I place a bomb... Right there. Blows up the wall and we can get the Sculptor. Which of course we can also kill with one hit with our sword as well, since we've got the Master Sword now. Which is also good. Okay. Let's get through this maze if I can. Carefully. 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 Ooh, careful, 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 careful. Over to the switch. Activate that and release another Goron. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fold down when you try to open them. When one of those doors starts to fold, move. If you use a sam sample of the Goron's special crop, you can break it. Yes, and that's important to know because otherwise you'll probably have an annoying time. Another small key. Very nice. Now... I think that's everything we need to get for the moment. So let's head on over this way. Oh, please, no. That's funny. <laughs> Just pausing moments before disaster. <laughs> There's a door over here that we can go into. Which is actually where we need to go. 
Also, this is an interesting room because it goes up there. Makes a huge hump type thing. Which is one of the two, like, lumps outside of the dungeon inside Death Mountain Crater. Which is why I think it's cool. This also goes down to the room where we had the, the big bridge across and the Gorons on either side that we need to get keys from. But right now, I think I need to get out my arrows and shoot this door. It might be a good idea to have Feral's Wind, just so that if you fall down you can get up quickly. And not have to go back through everything again. On this side path, however, is a big chest which has the dungeon map. It also shows that if we go to the dungeon map that this dungeon is actually two big circle things on either side, which is that the other thing in Death Mountain Crater, the big other big rock thing. Which I think is really cool that they do it like that. It's such a great, cool design that it's Death Mountain Crater and the Fire Temple kind of are connected in their design. It's so cool. It's so well done. Anyway, let's go through this door here. And in this room, once we jump onto the platform over here, Fire is going to start following us, so don't be too alarmed, but we need to keep keep moving quickly. There's also a ledge over there with a, a locked door on it, but we're going to come back to that, since we don't have a key. And we're just going to go across here, and the fire can't follow us any further. You can also stand on top of the pillars that are around the room, so that you can not get hit by the fire. It's not too bad if you get hit by the fire, though. But anyway, let's take you out, please. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Navi, please talk to me. Link, I hear Goron voices down below. So yes, there's this thing here which has Goron voices down below apparently. Also, if we stab it, maybe or jump attack on it? No, we can't do that. Okay. Maybe, hang on. Okay. No, okay, I thought that would actually show that it would be a high-pitched sound, but I guess not. What we need to do is blow up this, so let's blow that up. And it's important to do this, probably first away, first off, straight away. Going down, there's this giant thing that we can climb up, or down, which I'm just going to completely ignore because I have a billion health. Which activates, allows us to activate the switch, releasing the score on, and making a shortcut up. So, that's also good. Anyway, let's get this treasure chest. Another small key. And talk to this Goron. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron's special crop. That's all I have to tell you. Just everything needs the Grand Special Crop. Just literally everything. Anyway, let's head back up this way. Which might take a while to climb up this. Also, the fire slug is going to come back to life because we changed floor. So we need to be careful of that once we get out of here. Oh, there it is. Let me move this way. There we go. Now let's take you out, please. Okay, there we go. And now I want to head to the other side of the room if I can. Carefully do that. I need to hit the switch first. And there's a Goron there for us to save. Which is an interesting position for that Goron to be in if we're going to save it. Come on. There we go. Now am I crazy? Probably. If I hook shot in the middle of his face, no. I know what I know why I'm doing that though. 
But anyway, let's head across here carefully and not fall down because I don't want to have to loop too much. Okay. Let's go review, please. And let's go save this Goron. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. If you find a place that you can see on the map, but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. And then the Goron walks off the edge flying. Floating through the air, we can't see it though. <laughs> we just know that there's no ground there and he's walking on air, so... Anyway, get this extra key. Which means we can go through that locked door that we saw before. But before I do that, I actually have something else I want to do first. So let's jump across here. And we need to have the Scarecrow song for this. Which I've already done. Because I went back in time and did that after the Forest Temple. Which I did before- I showed before the Forest Temple, you know what I mean. Because I was trying to show the shortcut. But now, if we go all the way across here. We can see that Navi goes up there. So let's play the Scarecrow song. Nope, hang on. Let's go over here and play the Scarecrow song. NPS spawns up there on that platform there. So, let's hookshot to him. And now that we're up here, Let's talk shot to this platform that's just been here the whole time. And this will take us up. This is an optional path as well, so... Just should, thought I should mention that. Okay. So, on this... extra special path... is... Hang on, where is it? I might have... No, there it is. There's a gold Skulltula. Ah! There's a gold Skulltula. Let's grab that. And if we go further up... Okay. Drop there. There's actually... In this giant room, which is the... Inside of the rock thing on the outside of uh, Death Mountain, in, in Death Mountain Crater, is a second Gold Skulltula. These are both two optional Gold Skulltula that you can just get if you have the Scarecrow song, basically. But anyway, let's activate this switch here, which has a chest over there that we need to run to before the timer runs out, which makes having the hook shot out very helpful for getting up this slope. Because I think we have to actually. Oh, go, 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 open the chest before it five starts. There we go. And it's a gold rupee. Worth 200. Huge rupee. But anyway. Let's jump down. And now we can head back down to the other room that we're in before. Before we use Pierre. Okay, down, down more please, oh not that far down, too much down, oh well, I might be able to just go through here anyway, possibly, oh possibly, oh possibly, I don't want to have to go down through that whole thing again, okay, Fire starts again. Gonna try and get up that ledge, but I don't know if I can while the fire's going this way. Because the interesting thing about this room is if we go back up here again where we're supposed to be, and then go through and back back out again. Like that. If we jump down now the fire starts from this side which allows us to actually get up the ledge without having to worry about the fire as much we still have to worry about it but just a whole lot less 
because we can go. It's going in the same direction as us, basically. Don't have to do a U-turn. But anyway, let's go through here to the opposite side of the dungeon now. Let's see what we can do over here. Well, for the f first of all, there's fire everywhere, and boulders, and also firewalls that will appear only if you're right next to them. But anyway, there's this door here, which, if we try to use, is a fake door. If we stab at it, stab at it, it will obviously try to attack us. But if we bomb it, it just destroys it, so. Now, before I do anything else, I actually want to head this way, I believe. So let's do that. Going past these fire walls. They always appear just too late. I guess that's the point, but anyway. We can go into this room here, though. Which has a big chest for us. And we get the compass. Now we can see the locations of ma many hidden things in the dungeon. Including the boss, but we already knew that where that was. But now we can see where the last remaining treasure chests are. And all that. Which means we can probably see where the last Gorons are by using the same logic. Unless there's maybe one or two chests that don't have Gorons with them. Hello, Boulder. Funny seeing you here. Now, I don't think we can go over that way because I think it's all blocked off by the firewalls. Also, this is another fake door over here that I want to destroy because I hate them. Harsh words, I know, but, you know, it's a game. It's a video game. Um, nothing is real. Uh, I need to get through this fire maze and fire keys is going to try and attack me. Also, this totem here will breathe fire on you, so you need to be careful of being too close to that. It activates when you're nearby, so... Ah! Burning! Let's break these parts, please. Thank you. Ah! So much fire. Ah, so much fire. It's fine. It's so fine. But anyway, now that we're in this room, we can see a Goron. But more importantly, if we play the Song of Time... I don't think the game wants us to do this at the moment, but we can do it anyway. Since we can summon this block here. It allows us to go up to this second level here, which is be behind a blocked door that we're not supposed to be able to get through yet. Although I think I can't do that at the moment, which is just a switch I know. But let me let me go up to it. It's it's funny though, because it's the same type of switch that's blocking the other door that we couldn't which we're supposed to have done to get to this switch. This switch looks rusted, so we can't actually press it, even though, if, even if we're standing on top of it. So we're gonna have to leave that and go this way. Now on the other side of this area here, oh fire, oh fire, 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 so much fire. Also, what hit me? Everything apparently. Okay. This key is going to be annoying. Let's hit this switch here. And that gets rid of that firewall there, but only for a little bit of time, so we need to go fast. Through here, which isn't that difficult, luckily. And once we're up here, it shouldn't respawn. I don't think. No, it does. Just remembering things wrong, it's fine. Now, let's go through this door, except it's a fake door, let's blow it up. And behind it is... A real door which has its tongue sticking out at us, of course. Makes sense to me. Let's go through here. And it's time for a mid-boss. This is the dancer that was mentioned by one of the Gorons. Flare Dancer. Extinguish its, fl its flaming clothes first. Which we can do by blowing it up. And just stabbing it like this. It likes to run away from us though, which is annoying. Ok, 
Okay, good. Also, it might be good to get out the gi giant's knife. Just so we do a bit more damage. Goes back into the fire and changes colour. It'll do this about three times, I'm pretty sure. But also, if we hookshot it, we can just do it like that and it'll be... It'll work out quite well for us. But anyway, let's just absolutely destroy with the giant's knife now. Because we can. I think it has to change colour three times, otherwise it just won't work. So, we do have to take a little bit of time out of this, so... But anyway, let's take you out now, please. If I can. Oh my goodness. Jump attack to do a whole ton of damage, of course. Okay, and we should be done, please. Thank you, except it explodes when it dies. So you gotta be careful. But there we go. That is the Flare Dancer. I'm gonna switch sword back now, though. Okay, up we go. Onto this platform, which will rise for us. No extra flame effect, which is interesting, but... I mean, it works as it does, so... Now we have this switch here. This is also opposite side of that other room we had the gold Skulltaler in. Which is cool. So let's drop that down there, except it looks exactly the same as the other one, which is... It shouldn't exactly since it's the opposite side, but I guess it, it, it's fine. Let's just head on up here. And take a look at this room. Okay, we have a switch, and no, no sculptors on this path, which is interesting. But now let's hit the switch, and just like the opposite side, there's a tree chest that is surrounded by fire that we need to get to before the time runs out. We can kind of run along this edge, but if we fall down, it's going to be really bad for us. So it might be really good to use Furore's Wind in here. But anyway, let's open this up. You can also roll into the fire and open the chest if you're fast enough and just button mash. But you can also just do it the normal way, which gives us... The Megaton Hammer. Press C to smash and break junk. It's so heavy, you need to use two hands to swing it. Ow. Come on. There we go. Okay, so, now that we have the Megaton Hammer, this is going to help us out quite a bit. So, let's get it out. Let's jump down to this platform here, and use it. Smashing the ground on this platform, which actually makes it fall. We can also go down here, and use it to smash this statue aside, bit by bit. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hello. Keys. There we go. Now I also want to hit this here as well. Very cool dropping the stairs like that. Oh, so cool. But we're also going to need one of these crates here. Take this down to this blue switch, please. I don't know if that's on the switch or not. I kind of doubt it, but also... I'm lucky. There we go. Anyway, there's another one of these platforms that we need to break with the Megaton Hammer. Which we can also use as we're falling. Which is interesting. Ah, drop down please! Ah, I didn't try! Drop down, no! Okay, there we go. But anyway, now, these rusty switches... We can actually hit with the Megaton Hammer if I press the right C button... ...on the stick. Opens this door for us. Which also means that we can go across here. And... Get this switch. Releasing another Goron. Oh, where is he? There he is. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron's special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Well, that you, now that you mention it, I kind of do. Also, the Megaton Hammer can actually break certain things that bombs can break as well. Like rocks and... Uh, some, some walls? Not all walls, though. 
But it's it's good to know that it can, so. But anyway, let's head on up here now that we have another small key. And if we go across here onto this platform and knock this down. It actually drops down. To where the boss is. But we don't have the boss key yet. But we know where it is. And we just got a hint from a Goron that's going to be very helpful with that. So let's head out this way. And go down here. Because down here is the previously mentioned statue that the Goron mentioned. So, also, can I or can I not? No, I can't. I was really hoping I could smash all the parts of the statue totem at once, but no. Anyway, let's go in here and take out all of these enemies. I don't think Din's fire works on the enemies, unfortunately, because they're all fire anyway. Can I spin attack, please? Thank you. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Also, if we use the Megaton Hammer on the ground while these fire slugs are around, it'll actually flip them over, making them easier to take out because they can't get back... Well, maybe they can get back up, but they won't move around at least, so... Which is quite helpful. Another one of these rooms. I'm going to try and avoid getting hit by the thing. The what's it called? The like-like. There -like. we go. Take that out. Grab that. Dodging everything like a boss. Or just like somebody who doesn't really care about the enemies that much. Okay, and we have another Flare Dancer. Which now that we have the Megaton Hammer, if we hit the ground near it, we'll just take it out of its dance. Okay, let's go again. Why are you over there? That's so rude. Okay, third flame. Final flame. Let's take it out. Back up! I don't know how I dodged that. Anyway. Let's go ahead and grab these bombs and whatever's in that chest, which is possibly more bombs. Called it. More bombs. Very nice. And let's go through this door, which actually loops round to where the boss key chest is. Also, we need the Megaton Hammer to hit that switch as well, so we definitely needed it to get in here completely. If you don't talk to one, any of the Gorons and leave the room that they're in, they will also despawn after they have released, so... Talk to them all you can, because I guess they give you extra test text, so... Anyway. Now... Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yes, you are. Oh, I see. Big Brother of Darunia asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please, help Big Brother. And with that, we have everything we need to go to the boss. Just a quick reminder that there are fairies in the room before the boss that you can reload if you need to get even more of them. And let's do this thing. See how Darunia went with the fight. Since he's already gone in there. Well, I don't see him. Let's go onto the platform.
Subterranean Lava Dragon, Volvagia. Okay, when it comes out of the ground. It's the boss of the Fire Temple, revived by the Evil King. I don't know what its weak point. Well, if we hit its face with the Megaton Hammer... ...then probably get out our Giant's Knife, actually. I think our weapons will probably do the same amount of damage. But still... Just gotta... Oh, I broke it. That's fine. That's fine. It's so fine. We have a broken Giant's Knife now. But now, I actually want to walk off the edge of the platform, because we can actually just climb the edge of the platform. And when Volvagia comes out of the ground, you can shoot him with arrows, or just circle, so he can't do anything. Uh, but boulders will fall from the sky, which you can't get hit by if you're on the edge, and it will go back into the ground. Which makes this fight a lot faster. But anyway, let's do the same thing again with him, if I can hit him please, thank you. And then jump attack. Good, you can only do one hit per loop, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's just keep waiting for him. And it shouldn't take too long. I can hear the boulders now. Because I think if you're off the edge, the only target it has to land on is for Vagia. Which I think it makes him want to go into the ground again, possibly. I might be wrong about that, but I'm... But anyway. All I know is that we're safe. Once it's targeting Vol Vagia, so... Anyway, which hole is he going to appear out of? Not that one. This one, maybe? This one. Let's hit you with that. Get our sword ready, and jump attack. This is going to probably take a little bit longer. Maybe one more loop, maybe two. This is so cheesy, just standing off the edge of the platform. Like this. Back in the ground, very nice. I remember running around in circles in this fight. Also, here again. That's interesting. Now, let's see if I can take you out. Head burns up and gives us the heart container. Now let's go into the light. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Gron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Darunia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits, and my friendship.
You receive the fire medallion. Durani awake, awakens as the, a sage of a sage, and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. And that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.